all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel guys today we have a Kyrie irving trade hypothetical i think this is perfect i really do now before i get into this video be sure to hit that like button hit that sub button but i do want to say this this has nothing to do with getting the vaccination or not getting the vaccination because regardless Kyrie irving the brooklyn nets don't really need him personally all Kyrie is there for right now, if you have James Harden and Kevin Durant, he's mainly there to score. They don't really need that scoring. If you have KD, you have James Harden. James Harden can rebound the ball. He can pass the ball. He can play make. So can KD. He can do all those things. And Kyrie Irving doesn't play good enough defense for it to make sense for the Brooklyn Nets to hold on to him. Having a big three is cool. But here's the thing, and I think a lot of young people, a lot of young kids don't really realize this. If Kyrie Irving were to remain on the Brooklyn Nets for the entirety of this next season, and you're not playing home games, they're going to lose. They're going to lose. And it's, it's so much of it is chemistry related. If things aren't clicking, not only do the Brooklyn Nets have issues, they'll have issues because their starters aren't playing as much as they should. But the also issue is it's just going to cause divide. Kyrie Irving not getting the vaccination and not being able to play home games, that's going to cause division. I, I highly doubt all 14 other players on that team are 100% okay with Kyrie Irving doing that. So it's going to cause divide and Kyrie isn't that good at defense. So why not trade him? Why not trade him to the San Antonio Spurs? And I saw this trade on Bleacher Report. And if you guys watch my channel, this might be the only time I've ever seen a Bleacher Report trade hypothetical actually make all the sense in the world. This is the trade. The Brooklyn Nets receive DeJounte Murray, Thaddeus Young, and a 2023 first round pick top 10 protection. Now, we're not even going to discuss that first round pick because that should just be icing on the cake. Now, Half of the season, you're not playing, Kyrie's not playing half of the season. First off, it's not Brooklyn's, it's not their problem if Kyrie Irving says he's going to retire if he gets traded. That is not the Brooklyn Nets problem. If you do this trade, you're getting DeJounte Murray, who in my opinion is a better player to lead this Brooklyn Nets team because he just blew up. But not only did he just have a breakout season, he is a phenomenal defender, one of the best defenders at his position. Last season, he averaged 16 points per game, seven rebounds, five and a half assists, and a steal and a half, all on efficient shooting. He shot 30, uh, 32% from deep, 37 the year before, and 45 and a half from the field. So, when I look at DeJounte Murray, I see a 24 youngster who just had the best season of his career to date, can play defense, and can lead this Brooklyn Nets team. And then I look at Thaddeus Young. You guys know me. I'm a Bulls fan. Thaddeus Young is perfect. He is perfect for literally any team he goes to. Last season, 12 points, 6.5 rebounds, 4.5 assists. On his career, 13.6 rebounds. We saw a huge jump in assists from Thaddeus Young last season, the most in his entire career by at least half, by double. This man is starting to do a little bit of everything. He also threw in a steal per game. From deep, we're looking at... 26.5% last season, so not great. The years before that, he was much better, 36%, 35%. But like I said, Brooklyn, they don't really necessarily even need his scoring. They need that veteran leader. They need that guy they can rely on, stay healthy, 6'8", so he's not the tallest, but he's very versatile on offense. He can play a couple. He can guard a couple different positions. I know... If it's like, especially if I'm a Brooklyn Nets fan and I see this trade, I'm like, oh man, no way, Jose. But here's the thing. I think it's just so much better than having a Kyrie Irving who does not plan on playing half the season. I mean, that is just absolutely ridiculous. You saw it with Andrew Wiggins. 
he went, he got vaccinated immediately. I'll tell you this. If Kyrie Irving doesn't get vaccinated, he's not winning a championship this year. The Brooklyn Nets aren't winning a championship this year with him on their roster. You cannot play half the season, cause divide within the locker room, and expect to go far in the playoffs. And here's the thing. I think a lot of youngsters forget who LeBron James is. If there's a healthy LeBron James Los Angeles Laker team, then I put it at exactly 0% chance Kyrie and the Nets win. Right now, the chances I put Kyrie and the Brooklyn Nets winning the championship this year are around 5 to 10% with an unvaccinated Kyrie Irving. With a vaccinated Kyrie Irving, that definitely obviously skyrockets, but I would say with DeJounte Murray and Thaddeus Young, they have significantly better odds than half of Kyrie Irving, who defensively isn't going to bring anything to you and is all he's doing is really scoring yeah he can facilitate a little bit but so can DeJounte Murray and so can James Harden so why not make the upgrade get that defensive player and now no longer do you have a point guard who is a not only a defensive liability but also just a locker room liability this really sucks because I hope this doesn't mean Kyrie Irving retires. I hope this doesn't drive him out of the league. I hope he just realizes, like, I need to stop making this all about myself. And I need to just, I need to go. If I really want to win a championship, I need to do what I need to do to win that championship and be there for my team. If I were a Brooklyn Net fan, I would be very salty right now. I'd be very upset with Kyrie Irving. And I would probably want him to be traded immediately, especially if I were to see a trade offer like this. That's something I'm going to hop on to. The good news is for Brooklyn, they're probably not in a rush because Kyrie Irving, if he's not going to, if he's going to play, he's going to, you're going to see the value right there because he's a great, phenomenal basketball player. If he doesn't play, he's going to stay more healthy. I see it as they'll probably not have to worry about value. I've seen some trade hypotheticals where they receive Ben Simmons and Tyrese Maxey for for Kyrie. So I don't think that value is going to be an issue this year considering what Kyrie Irving could potentially bring you, especially if you're a team like Philadelphia. You kind of desperately need that change of scenery. I don't think that Philly is going to be able to pull off Ben Simmons for any type of several-time all-star NBA champion I don't think that's something that they would be able to do with Ben Simmons value where it is so if if I'm Philly I want to get Ben Simmons honestly I want to get John Wall even too I need to get somebody I don't think that anything's gonna happen before the start of the season I wouldn't be surprised ultimately I think Kyrie Irving and the Brooklyn Nets figure it out and this trade doesn't come to fruition even if they didn't figure it out and they were to trade him I I think this trade is a little bit more of a long stretch just because it is to the San Antonio Spurs. And honestly, the retirement, that might be a little concerning over there. So that's it for today. Hit the like button. Let me know if you would do this trade down below. I'll see you guys later.